Good afternoon and welcome to Virtues and Valor. What brought this workshop on? Let's talk about this. Okay. What is valor? Valor is the validation that we share as an acceptable accomplishment. So when someone has valor, they're known for their character. They're known for their word. They're known for their their fortitude. They're known for their chutzpah, perhaps we should say. And they're also known for their credibility. So to proceed with valor means you're an authentic representation of what you seek to become. So over my years in the witchcraft community, I've come across a lot of communities. Some so good, some not so good, but yet we continue to soldier on within them, accepting the bad behaviors that exist. Here at the Lunar Hearth Cauldron, we have a sisterhood. And in a sisterhood, we're all representative of the group as a whole, not just one person, but all of us. So if we have a weak sister, others will step up and help her. If we have a sister who is in need of a little more support, we step up and help her. While some of us are strong in some areas, we're weak in others. But as a sisterhood, we have an expectation of behavior. So this year, the calendar wheel from November to next October, we will be examining one character trait a month. This character trait will not only reflect into personal growth, spell work growth, but as well world growth. This month we're examining authentic support. What does it look like to authentically support one another in a circle? What does it look like to authentically support someone's originality, someone's differences and someone's weaknesses? Not only are you responsible for yourself, but you're responsible for your sister. Um, Casey from the Dark Goddess Collective was kind enough to write an article called Got Your Six about authentic support. When you say you're here to support someone, you're not here to just say, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and this. You're going to actively do this, this, and this. You are going to step into the gap, hold the space, hold the tension, and move forward. We're going to examine facts such as clarity, sacredness, acceptance, sacred anger, inability to tolerate others' flaws, personal doubts, and other things along those lines. Each month we'll have a different topic. Each month, you will be able to choose if you enter the sisterhood or you do not enter the sisterhood. This will be the MVP tab of the Winter Hearth Cauldron. Yes, there will be a fee involved. Yes, this is an energy exchange. If you're coming into this sisterhood and you are looking to learn about these valors, you are going to have to put an active participation within the sisterhood. This is no longer just a, hey, I'm here, I'm stopping through and I'm moving forward. Virtues of valor means you actually accept these aspects and make them part of your character. If this isn't something you're willing to do, that is your choice. We are not here to push, prod, or convince you that a sisterhood is what you need. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to beg you to be here. I'm not going to be enticed you to be here with freebies and things that are given away. I'm not. The fee will be reasonable. The fee will continue. What do I get for the fee, Sissy? Um, you get teachings. You get observed moons throughout the month. And you also get spell work throughout the month. Yes, having virtue means exercising your virtue. It means practicing it. It means honing it. It means exampling it. It means moving forward. At the end of the calendar year, there will be a contract in the sisterhood, and you will have to sign to the contract that you agree to hold up these regulations. If you do not agree to hold up these regulations, you will no longer be in our sisterhood. The days of taking something at face value that everyone is going to treat everyone equally are over. That's not reality. In every situation, there is an ebb and flow. Some people can give more than others. And unfortunately, in some situations, some people give all and some just take. This is not a sisterhood of that any longer. Our circle 
is made to be a continuous flow of energy. So when someone needs to stand back, someone should be strong enough to hold that gap till they return. Yes, life has hard things. Yes, things happen. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule. Oh, I can't make this month. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that. Totally get that. But I'm not here to discuss what life may come for you. I'm here to discuss where we're going as a group. So Virtues of Valor will be our concept for the entire 2022-2023 wheel. Um, there will be lots of advantageous points to being in that MVP um, sisterhood area. Um, it will change to Sisters of Valor rather than MVP in the coming months. All Sabbath teachings will be free to that circle. So when I do a Sabbath, a Sabbath lecture, it will be free to that circle. If you choose not to join the circle, it will be available for purchase in the store. There has to be boundaries. There has to be healthy boundaries within a sisterhood. And there has to be healthy boundaries within a circle. We are here to support one another. Comes the next question. Financially, I'm not able to do this. Well, how can you be of service to your sisterhood? How can you help? I know many of you have reached out to me personally. I'd like to be assistance to the tribe. In order to be of assistance to your tribe, you have to be willing to participate and you have to be willing to work. And I'm all about that. I'm all about your energy being put into the circle in exchange for your attendance and events. We are gonna be coming out with something called Cauldron Cash. And when you sign up to do a job, you will be rewarded Cauldron Cash and you will be able to use that towards your workshops, kits, and anything else you purchase here. So you guys asked and I delivered. It's not about money. It's about valor. It's about holding the line. It's about having the sacred conversations. And it's about being there for one another. That's what magical fucking women do. If we intend to step forward as the divine feminine, we need to make divine feminine moves. And I think virtues of valor is a great step for us all. I love this for us. As the Volva Death Wild, I look forward to your participation. I look forward to your enthusiasm. And most of all, I look forward to seeing you in the Sisterhood of Valor. Thank you for joining me for a few minutes this evening. I know this wasn't the live you were looking for, but as we know, life has thrown us a curveball in the last couple of weeks. You're fucking magic because you say you are. Now go show the world you are. Thank you for coming.